right now we're gonna talk some numbers and the very first number that we're gonna reveal to you guys what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are finally back on our 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk and today's the day that we're actually gonna finish this sucker up 100% and also towards the end of the video we're gonna give you guys a complete price breakdown of what this thing costed us compared to the $90,000 price tag that it came with so that's just gonna be absolutely epic on its own, but we also got some other parts. We got some wheels, we got some tires, and we even got an exhaust. But before we get to any of that, we're actually gonna run up to the dealership because they do got a bunch of final touches for us. So let's just go ahead, head that way, and see what they got. So we are back from the dealership with a bunch of little parts here and there as you can tell we finally got all six of our hood vents for this hood can't wait to throw those suckers on and finish the hood up and we got a little cow piece that all we have to do is just snap that sucker back in place and we got some door trim pieces the black ones that we were waiting for got a few engine compartment stuff here and there but most importantly we finally got our supercharged badges right here these suckers were 60 bucks a piece well, that's that's just insane you know what 60 bucks a piece but you know what we had to buy those because we couldn't save our old ones yeah they're all individual and it'll take forever to actually get the old 3m off of there and replace it with new 3m and it, you probably will never get it straight never align everything Thing. but it's gonna look super clean with a Grand Cherokee badge right there and a Trackhawk badge on the back that's just gonna clean everything up but anyways let's just go ahead and throw all these final touches on so we can move on to the wheels All right, so check that out guys. We finally got all the hood vents installed and it looks super clean. And also for the engine bay, we got it completely outfitted with all the trim, the seals, as well as all the clips. So we are basically 100% complete up here. The next thing that we're gonna move on to is actually all of our door trim. And then after that, we're gonna throw on all of our badges. All right, so we finally got the door trim installed along with all the badges. I think that looks super good right there, especially that supercharged badge right there. That way people know not to mess with you when you're out and about getting groceries. But we got all that stuff aligned to the best of our eyeball ability. I think we probably should have bought some new ones because I mean we did spend a lot of time putting that double-sided tape on there. Oh yeah dude that taking the old tape off took forever and putting the new tape on took forever as well but we probably saved, saved like look. 60 something probably like 60. Who knows how much yeah, you're I'm definitely gonna see when we do the price reveal how much it cut down on our budget but anyways that looks super good the Trackhawk badges on as well 
The next thing that we're gonna focus on is our wheels. We're actually gonna lift this sucker up and remove the stock wheels because we gotta remove the, the, sensors the sensors and the valve stems. They're all aluminum, so we're gonna be reusing all that stuff. Heck yeah, dude, I can't wait. These are gonna look super good. But anyways, let's just go ahead, get this sucker lifted and remove these stock wheels. Things are about to get epic. Hey, right there, that's what you call meats right there, dude. Huge shout out to Michelin for sending us these Pilot Super Sport tires. These suckers are gonna be the perfect tires for our track hawk because these are basically your everyday tire and they're rated a 105 wide, so they're an extra low tire and you can go to the drag strip, you can go get your groceries with these or you can haul your boat down to the lake, you dude, know what I mean? this right here is an all-in-one tire and look at that, you got all the specs right there. But look at the inside, dude. I think this is a run flat Yeah, as these well. are run flats, so that's a that's another big thing about these tires man if you bust a tire you can probably make it to the next gas station or tire shop and get you a new one you Dude, know that is awesome but right now we're heading to the tire shop right yeah we're gonna head that way we just need to get started we got a good bit of work on our hands to pull those old sensors out so let's go ahead head that way and throw these tires on them wheels All right, so we are back with our brand new wheel and tire combo, but dude, check out how beautiful these Boston wheels dude, are. This is the hybrid forged edition and we got it in the high gloss black and I am loving all the spokes, dude. It's gonna look so good with that yellow caliper behind there, dude. We're just gonna have to shine them up before we throw them on there. Oh, for sure, all that brake dust on there, but that sucker is definitely gonna pop back there. And these suckers actually bounced out perfect, dude. As you can tell behind there, only three little weights, which equals out to be like 0.75 ounces, which is nothing for a wheel. So these things are gonna drive straight, no bouncing at all. Dude, super smooth. We're definitely gonna leave Vossen's link down below if you wanna copy a sweet set of wheels. And we didn't even use our original wheels, right? Yeah, we didn't even actually Actually pulled uh, anything off to use the old sensors. Uh, Autel actually sent us out some brand new sensors and a little computer to program them suckers. So all we have to do is just program it to the track hawk and we should be good to go. Dude, let's just go ahead and slap these suckers on and then drop the track hawk. Let's do it.
Alrighty guys, so she is going down. Let's see how well this thing sits. Ooh, dude. Dang, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. This Jeep is oh, sitting perfect. Dude, that is sick. Oh my goodness. I gotta say, dude, those wheels definitely finished off the look of that Jeep. Dude, dude. it goes so perfect with everything that we got going on here. The black roof, the carbon. Dude, this is, is definitely one of a kind Jeep. Oh yeah, dude, that, I gotta say, man, this whole entire build is like the best build like we've ever done. Probably like, one. Best SUV, I'm not gonna say the best build, the best SUV build we ever done. Arguably the best SUV for sure that we'll probably ever have. I mean, imagine this thing just creeping up on you. Imagine seeing this thing in your rear view mirror. Oh man, you're probably gonna see it, yeah, in your, no, not the rear view, you probably see it coming up in your rear view then passing you. Pass you, you're yeah. only gonna see it for a split second. Split second. Dude, that looks so good, and I love the yellow, how it dude, pops. Dude, the yellow is perfect now. You can actually see it a lot better. Dude, those original wheels that were on there, dude, just like, just threw it off a little bit, but now, dude, it is set up perfectly. The lowering springs and all just flow perfect. I wonder if it's just gonna go down a little bit more whenever, because the springs probably got, uh, you know, like stretched Stretch out a little bit. Yeah, it may settle a little bit. Who knows, we'll have to drive it, which wouldn't be a problem for us. Hey, but before we drive it, I say since we got the look on point, time to make the sound Dude, on the point. Dude, the sound, it's about to sound epic. Right now it sounds pretty good because it's got the cold air intake yep. with the stock exhaust and all you hear is intake, but yep. what the course exhaust it's gonna sound good and also we forgot to mention we installed some cold forged aluminum lug dude, nuts dude these lug nuts are like the lightest lug nuts i ever felt in my life and they came with the wheels huge shout out to Vossen for those as well once again man and they match the wheels perfectly dude this thing is just sick man that's probably the best wheel setup so far exactly but right now let's move on to that exhaust let's do it So we finally got our Corsa Extreme stainless steel exhaust completely unpackaged here along with the 4.5 inch tips. Dude, I gotta say that is gonna look so crazy at the back end of that track hawk. It's gonna look so much better than the stock exit over there. But this is basically a straight pipe from the cat back because if you look into this muffler right here, it's just gonna flow so smooth right there. It's just it's a, a straight little, pipe. A little bit of resignation in there. A little bit of resignation, a little bit of muffler right there, but we got everything that we need. We got our clamps, we got our X pipe, we got all of our pipes. All we really gotta do is lift this sucker up, remove that stock exhaust, and throw on this Corsa. All right, so we finally got our Corsa exhaust installed and that was actually really easy to do. But dude, as you can tell, we got rid of all those big canisters and we're left with a free flowing exhaust all the way out the back into these 4.5 inch tips, which, dude, check out. Let's just go ahead and rip one of these. Oh, oh 
What is Dude, that? Like gunmetal or something? It's like a graphite or super dark gunmetal. Dude, looks that looks super good. good. That's definitely gonna make this whole entire rear end and diffuser just pop. Now, not only this exhaust is probably gonna sound really good, it also looks good as well. Dude, it looks good. It kind of matches the carbon fiber, if you will. You I know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about right there. Just throwing those color contrasts off a little bit. Exactly. Yeah, that, I love how that looks. I love how easy it was to install, but now we gotta hear what this sucker sounds like. Dude, let's go ahead and lower it to the ground and kick it on. All right, so it is finally time. We got the track hawk lowered down, and I gotta say those tips look better with this sucker sitting like that. But I got the key right here. We're just gonna go ahead and remote start this sucker and see what it sounds Ooh, like. It's dude. time. Too, so Let me get like, a different angle because all I was hearing back there was exhaust, but it sounded amazing. Dude, that is insane, man. Now we got a track hawk on. Now we got to rip this thing around. Let's dude. do it. Let's do it. All right, so before we actually do some ripping, we decided to give this thing a wash, and oh my goodness, this thing cleans up, dude. dude. she is spotless right now, but pretty much right now, we're gonna probably go ahead and do some ripping on it. We're gonna do some ripping, and then we're gonna do a price breakdown, oh yeah, dude, man. that's gonna be the fun part, showing you guys what this thing costed us and what it took. To, I mean, they know what it took to get this thing fixed. A lot man, this of work. Thing was crazy. But was but it worth it? Dude, definitely. Right now, this thing is basically 99% complete. We are, however, still waiting on our inner fenders. You guys may have noticed that we still don't have those suckers, but hey, you don't need those to rip around. Exactly, and probably we're gonna throw that stuff in in other videos. Yeah. I'm thinking this is gonna be the actual last track hawk video. Oh my goodness, dude. Dude, with the tire shine on there, man, this thing just pops. Every dude, single slick. angle. And also, we were reviewing the footage, and the exhaust is so loud that it kind of muted it for a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it messes with the mic a little bit. The, the phone does not do its justice. Dude. Oh the no. Camera or anything just doesn't do its justice. It's, it's, it's too loud for this mic right here, dude. dude it's way <laughs> too loud, but dude, in person, it is the perfect sound. And I'm just ready to go ahead and rip it down the road. Let's see what it sounds under some load, dude. Let's do it. All right, so we are off, just barely idling right now. Punch it a little bit. You ready? I'm ready. Oh my goodness. That was barely anything though, that right? That was barely anything. And the crazy thing is, dude, that supercharger wide is like in perfect harmony with the exhaust. Dude, man. it's in unison with the exhaust. It just <laughs> flows so, so beautiful. It makes you talk all these crazy words. I know, man. man. It's just like... Oh my goodness. Dude, we're still slipping. We're, we just spun a little bit. Probably because we got water on our tires. Oh yeah, that's but, true. Oh my goodness. This thing is insane, man. Let's find a little bit of a better spot where we could do a, a serious pull. Oh yeah, for sure. Absolutely sounds amazing from the outside. A little bit winded, but let's let's do one more right here. Ready I'm ready, dude. Pull. Oh my goodness, man! This thing is insane, dude. I will, 
Like, how loud is it out there? Dude, I haven't even heard it. It is there. super loud out there, but it's not like too obnoxious, I gotta say. I mean, with the windows closed, the AC on right now, I'm just cruising. You can't hear anything. That's what the awesome thing about it. I mean, you can hear a little rumble, but once you step on it, you can definitely open it up. Dude, I think it's perfect. That Corsa exhaust and that nice little cold air on there. But now, let's go find a, I guess, a nice spot for a price break now. Dude, it hugs them corners beautifully, dude. dude. that's what I was about to say. Like, with these wheels and tires and the lowering springs, now it, like, turns like a car, you know, around dude. the corner. Like, it don't even feel like you're in a big SUV. Alrighty, guys, so we made it here to a nice, peaceful location where we're gonna reveal to you guys the price of this track hawk, what it costed us compared to that $90,000 price tag of what you'd have to pay brand new from the dealership, bone stock. That sucker right there is pretty far from bone stock, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Right now we're gonna talk some numbers and the very first number that we're gonna reveal to you guys is the winning bid from the auction, which was $33,000. Then after fees and getting it delivered, it ended up being $35,000. So that's pretty big price right there for something that was super smashed. For others, you'd probably say that's a great deal, but I mean, it almost looked irreparable yeah, to be honest. Yeah, for 30, 33 or 35,000 to our front door, some people would be like, dude, that is pretty crazy because it was rolled over, but you know what? We took a risk. We did take a huge risk there, but the very first thing that we ended up doing was taking it apart and we had to go to the dealership where we spent $7,000. And then after that $7,000 that we paid for that major, all those major components for that whole entire side. Yeah, basically panel. everything to do framework. Exactly, a bunch of structural pieces, three layers of structure pieces. And then we went to v shop and he hooked us up with an amazing deal for $3,000, a couple days on the frame machine or I believe even a week on the frame machine, dude, which dude. is a great deal. Dude, that is a killer deal. Huge shout out to V tuned. Then after that, after we got home from the deal or from the frame machine, we ended up going back to the dealership and we spent roughly $3,000. Then after that, I think that $3,000 was for like the airbags. Yeah, we were just bumper. getting it ready for a paint job. So that was like our fender flares, front bumper, rear bumper, and a bunch of other things. Exactly. And then we did the paint job, of course, which that costed us $2,000 for the paint and the clear coat. That's not including our, our labor. I don't think we're going to include any yeah, of our Yeah, labor our ones. labor is just showing you guys how we did everything on YouTube. And then, yeah, exactly. And then after we got that sucker painted, we ended up going to the dealership a couple more times, and I believe we spent roughly another three thousand dollars. So for all the parts, that's sixteen thousand dollars plus the labor. That's three thousand. So that brings us up to a grand total for the vehicle plus the labor, fifty-three thousand dollars, dude. Compared to ninety thousand dollar price tag, that is a great deal. Look what came out, dude. dude. A beautiful track hawk. A beautiful track hawk. A one of a kind track hawk. That is. So that price of fifty-three thousand dollars. It's just a super close estimate of what this thing would have costed us to fix bone stock. We didn't add any of the mods because we did have some awesome sponsors that worked with us on this build, like Black Ops Auto Works for all the carbon, Vossen with the wheels, Michelin with the tires, Corsa Performance with the exhaust, and MHF for all the lighting. So huge thanks to all those guys for helping us make a one-of-a-kind track hawk. If we were to just go out and buy this stuff individually, it would have costed us an extra $12,800. So if you add that on top of the $53,000, that would have got us to a grand prize of $65,800, dude. Oh my goodness. And that's still a really good deal for a $90,000 Jeep. And which one would you rather have, this one or a stock one? That one for sure. All right, so now that we gave you guys some closure on this track hawk, this build is basically complete. You may see it pop up in another video, who knows? But we do got some more epic things coming your way this definitely was one of the crazier builds but we always got some crazy things coming here soon so make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also if you want an inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on instagram at goon squad and also guys i do want to mention that we just got some brand new t-shirts on the website now in a salmon color here check out that logo right there in three different colors it is super fire but check out the back dude right there Ooh, got the dang sun in two tones these suckers are super fire definitely probably one of the the most legit shirts we've ever dropped so if you guys want to copy one and help support your boys definitely be sure to visit gunsquad.com but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time peace